Welcome back, everyone, to another week of our Friday prayer sessions here at the Kingdom Church with your host, your minister, your prophet, Gary Rojas. I hope your week has been blessed and wonderful. Today is Friday, the last day of the work week, except for some of you who probably work on the weekends. All right, so get ready to pray wherever it is that you are around the world. Get situated. We have a couple prayer requests um, from this week so that uh, before we get into that, uh, let's just give thanks unto the Lord. So get ready to pray wherever it is that you are. Uh, Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for another day, for another precious week to pray with the members, with the attendees, with the viewers anywhere around the world that are watching. They could be doing who knows what with this day, going out drinking as the world does, partying, but they are here on a Friday evening praying with all the members, being unity with all the members in one in Christ. Veandria de Kluski Avaranayask, Vayarese Vindian de Vedenus, Avayadevakias. What a mighty God we serve, Lord, that you are able to congregate, that you are able to bring us together each and every single week. Vayandrevus Kiliaris, Vayatekananayas, for the things that actually matter. For what else are the things of this world? Vanity, saith the preacher. For men ought always to pray. That is what you told us when you were here, Lord. Oh, Father, we give thanks, we give glory, we give praise. There are no amount of words within the English vocabulary that we can begin to even preach or say that can come close to the glory, to the thanks, to the things which you do constantly in our lives, to the watching, to the protecting, to the increasing of our knowledge and the increasing of our wisdom. For this, Lord, we give thanks that you are bringing us each and every single week those who actually know what matters. Because as you see, when it comes to prayer, we get a quarter of the viewers. So only a quarter people show up. But for those quarter that do show up, we give thanks, glory, and praise that there is somebody praying, that there is a church, a ministry praying each and every single week, if not for their members, then also interceding for everyone else. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I can feel it already. I don't know about you, but I can feel it already. Gracias, Señor, por todo lo que tú haces y has hecho en nuestra vida y en la vida de vosotros. We give thanks to you, O oh Lord. We give thanks to you, O oh Lord. Just imagine, <laughs> even to me every day I wake up in such amazement, Vayandre Kotuskilias, that I get to serve you each and every single week, that I get to give revelation and to pray with those around the world. It is truly miraculous and marvelous, and there are no amount of words which I can say to give thanks, to be able to raise up people in these last days, to be mighty, mighty women, mighty men of valor. I give thanks for them, and I give thanks for their children, for their lives. Give thanks wherever it is that you are for those things which you have for your life. And then we'll get to the prayer requests. 
Vai Andre Kotus Kiliaris, we'll do one more minute of just giving thanks. Zia Andrea Dekus Kuluvratias, Vrai Andre Kotus Kias Kiedonus. God, we thank you for our jobs, Vai Andre Kotus Kiliaris. We thank you for our transportation. We thank you for the provision. Zia Andra Kaliadrekus Kafonuas. For the revelation each and every single week. For the courage to be able to invite people to church, to be able to share the link, to be able to tell others. We give thanks for everything. Things which we see and the things that are unseen which we do not see. Irivaxian de Bedrusia, Veleandra Navaya de Kus. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we give thanks. Amen and amen. All right, so we're going to pray now for, we got a couple prayer requests here. We'll do those shortly and then we'll continue with the prayer session. So we have um, two healing requests. One from Lori in Lehigh Acres and one from Kathy who comes from TikTok. So she's probably not watching this video, right? Because there's, there's a lot of people that send prayer requests that aren't, you know, that come from TikTok, but not from actual service. But anyway, these two prayer requests are for healing, right? Well, one is for the daughter to stop drinking because the doctor told her, you know, it could get bad and the person could die. And another one is for physical healing. So we're just going to pray for a restoration. And there's something also, now that, you know, the thing about being a preacher, the thing about being somebody who teaches, you know, you kind of, you pray and then you teach too, because I'm also hearing a lot of things, you know. Like something like this, you know, physical healing, you know, or any type of healing, like a prayer request, something like, for a daughter, so we can pray for our daughters as well to generalize it, for our children, in fact. Let's just generalize this healing for our children, a restoration for our children. So everybody around the world, extend your arms to pray for this family and to pray for your own families, for your own children as well. For by reason of this service, this prayer request is already done. You just need to use your own faith, mix your own faith and believe that it is done. For example, just to do a small teaching, here I have what? Prayer request 2022. Right, and so each and every single one of your prayer requests that you submit, via Andre Kotus Kiliaris, get put into this folder. Zeandre Niaye, Evayare Hu, Vialiandadash, Jeajedun, Ziare Nekayek. And when they're put in this folder, I keep them in my prayer closet, via Andres Kalatian de Kenokos. Right? So you yourself, you should, every single prayer that you've ever requested from God, there is a proper order in which it is done. But no one has ever taught you this order, and it is in your Bible. Which I have actually discussed in several videos about prayer the untold truth about prayer, and a revelation on prayer, I believe. So every prayer request that you ever have, whether it be for your children, for your family, you need to mix faith in there. And then prayer is good, but then there's also something that's called an offering or a seed offering that you attach to each prayer request. And that is next level stuff. But I'm praying right now, as I'm praying for your children, I'm also praying for the revelation, for you to be able to catch the revelation. Because if you can catch this revelation on prayer, 
I mean, your whole life will be changed. Vai Andres Kolutrianiakis. Zeavrati and Nekuska Vayat. So as you're praying, keep praying, keep praying for this family, keep praying for your children for healing. And as I keep instructing, I'm also praying for you guys that you catch what I'm about to say. Vlai Andre Kotuski Viani Avos. Verevak Salian Venesia Votusta Baraya. If you have a prayer request, let's just say generalize it because every single prayer request or every single conversation I have is for children. You see the, the wife, it's always the wife, it's always the mother. Every single email I get, you very rarely see a man, right, with a wife problem. It's always the woman that has the husband problem. So the, wo the woman is more spiritual than the husband. And the Lord has ordained for the man to be the high priest of the house he's the head so if he's not praying for your babies if he's not praying for your children then it's almost like the enemy has authority over the house because the one who god put in authority over the house isn't praying so there are measures that you as the woman can take which also gets into spiritual parents but what i can tell you this each and every single prayer request that you have it should be written down like this everything your prayer requests they're all here and i print them out Vlayandrekotus and I anoint them as a proxy, Vrayandrekotus, as a conduit of the anointing because you're not here, you're somewhere else. Vrayandrekotus, that is signed, sealed, and stamped. I don't know if you're getting that. It's almost as if you were here and I anointed you with your prayer request. Now you therefore have to go with your faith and believe that it is actually done. Because if next week or next month you pray for the same thing, then you don't actually believe what we actually did today by reason of this prayer service that it's actually been done so then there's doubt inside of you then if doubt is found in you then the devil has leniency he has authority to continue in what he is doing, because he is the bringer of doubt. Because the love of God casteth out all fear and doubt. So the love of God is not found in you concerning this prayer request. So what can you as the children or as the child, as the flock or someone who is growing and learning What you need to start doing is every single prayer request you have if you bring it to the church, if this is your church then when we cover it here you yourself should put it on a piece of paper like this type it out or write it out however you want to do it you put the date april 22nd like it's on here 22nd 2022 of what we or you pray for in, in your own time if we don't pray here if you don't put in a prayer request but every prayer request that's get on we pray here that way every morning if your ch if you if it really matters to you Vayandre Kotruskilias of what you are praying actually cares to you then you should be taking it very seriously Vreandrayandre Kotruskiashkaranabayo which means you should take that prayer request you should hang it up on your wall or in your prayer closet or wherever it is that you pray or wherever it is that you can keep it handy you have a date you say okay the prophet prayed april 22nd we prayed with him concerning this topic now you have it and that way every morning or when you get to your prayer request you can put your hand on the piece of paper and just say thank you lord for we prayed for this on april 22nd and it can be may 22nd it can be june july and the physical manifestation hasn't taken place but you are no longer like an impotent baby and all those other baby Christians which don't know how to pray, that always just say, 
oh god why isn't well why is my mother still this way or why is it something this so when are you going to heal my mother when are you going to heal this when are you going to do that when 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 and all you're doing is bothering heaven with all your problems and the angels which are ministering unto you just want to transfer because every time you pray is to bring a problem so rather you end up switching your prayers and you make it biblical because the Bible says when you pray, believe as you have already received and you shall have whatsoever you desire. So if you believe that you've received something, what do you always say? Thank you. When, I, when you ask me for something, let's say as an example, you ask me for a piece of chocolate. I give you the chocolate, you say, thank you, sir right so when you pray to god in the book of corinthians it says his promises are yes and amen so when you pray he says yes uh, okay the daughter will be healed from her drinking and she'll even become a christian then you need to say thank you lord right and then each and every single day you give thanks you say we covered it here on april 22nd i give thanks to you o lord i give thanks every single day and then the day that the daughter or the day that you receive your healing then on that same piece of paper you put the day that it was achieved so then that way you can actually see the manifestation of the power that is in you ah so if it takes you a year to achieve a prayer request, then that knows, okay, in order for me to manifest things into the spiritual, from the spiritual realm into the physical realm, takes me a year. That's why if you heard me in my prayer sessions, when I say things like, what takes you a year to do, you will do it in a month. That's what I'm talking about. What takes you a month to achieve will take you one week. And what takes you a week takes you a day. Receive it wherever it is that you are around the world. Catch it. That way you can actually see the physical manifestation of the power that is in you that is only accessed through prayer. Because the more you pray, the more you charge yourself, the more intimate you are with the Lord, and the more powerful you become and able to bring things from the realms of the spirit into the natural, into the physical, for the things happen there first. Now, now we run into the issue that, okay, your words are good. Your praying is good. But that's why the Bible says when you pray, when you fast, and when you give. So giving of alms has to be included also. And that's what comes the seed offering. So if your entire family is messed up and you're the only one saved, if, you're, if you really care about your family, then you need to start seeding into that family. Seeding. Maybe even take a, a year right, and call it the year of seeding. For, for a gigantic reset. So then that way, when you pray and say, okay, I'm go uh, and you can even contact me and do these things. That's why it's, it's best to always contact me too on what is best. But I send out emails and a lot of, you, and a lot of people aren't responding. But I just want to say, we're still praying. We're still praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Because I'm ministering and praying for you and praying. But I have to get this out. What I'm hearing, I have to get this out too. And we're almost done. Right? So when you're praying, when you're praying, when you're praying, and you're also giving and seeding, seeding also has a time of harvest because when you seed there is a harvest time it's called seed time and harvest so harvest doesn't have a time you're always so when you're always seeding you're always harvesting and that's why there's some people that receive miracles and blessings quicker than others it is because they understand the concept that they're always giving and when they give it is not sparingly as we've taught right in seed time and harvest video revelation if you see everything that i'm giving right now it's just on previous revelations that we've given here at the kingdom church so for example with this sheet today I have it dated April 22nd. 
and each prayer request, which is only about four on here, right? It sits there in my closet. And every day, obviously, when I touch it, I'm praying for them. But if you don't testify and say, oh, the thing that we prayed about, it is done, then I can't go in there and edit it and saying it's been received. Because I have the faith to receive all things. I have the faith to move mountains. I have the faith to cause my angels to bring me diamonds right so these are all things for miracles i even have the faith to teach you this stuff and miracles begin to take place like that brother who canceled a thousand dollar of debt just in prayer so you that kind of faith i already have it's you now that have to mix your faith with the word that is being released so those are measures that you can begin to take when you have a prayer request and you want to pray for something Put it all down on a piece of paper, date it, and then begin to give thanks unto the Lord every single day for that prayer request. And then you can give an offering and a seed offering, and you can keep giving seed offerings to that request, right? Depending on how great the request is. Because if you look in the Bible, it always says when somebody had an issue, right? When the Italian band named Cornelius, he says, and his prayer and his alms, go and read it. His prayer and his alms went up before the Lord as a memorial. Even Dorcas, when Dorcas died, it said her prayer and her alms. Cotruskiliarenes. So if you're just prayer and that's all you do is prayer, then you're incomplete in the other part. And really all the other part is just your tithing. You know how much you make. And you know what 10% is of what you make. That's just tithing is just is just the basic standard it's to rebuke the devourer so if you don't tithe then the devourer is devouring everything and you are already cursed the bible doesn't say ye are ye will be cursed you are cursed so the people that don't tithe that's how you know that they're already cursed because they don't tithe the curse is already upon them but we're not going to get into that that was the revelation. It is done. This is taking place for both Kathy and Lori. Because I know you also had a prayer request for your children and healing. So I need you to contact me because I think I've contacted you and I haven't uh, heard back. So we can begin. I can begin ministering to you personally about your situation. And I can see we're already 23 minutes in. Um, we're going to move into now... I think is Yvonne Richard. He has a request to dealing with people in his workplace and it's difficulty advancing. So we're, we're looking at promotion. Promotion's easy. I did a video of Ryan Drekotrus on TikTok talking about promotion and job offers and people were receiving promotion. There was a one woman who testified that her husband has been working, I think, 15 years or something like that, never been considered for a promotion and they were going to do promotions or, or looking for promotions. And then she wrote back to me and say, man of God, man of God, you know, when you declared this thing, it actually happened. She received the promotion. The husband received after 15 years of never receiving. Because I know about the God who I serve. I know the God that I serve and he backs up the words. So we're going to pray for, um, we're going to generalize that not just simply, not with just this, but any, any member here, anybody by reason of the attendance of this service, it is coming to you now. Promotion is coming to you now. Job offers is coming to you now. If you wanted to get a better job, you can begin to apply to better jobs as you have the current job and you'll receive promotion. You'll receive job offers. Your, your, your resume, be sure to, to update and tailor your resume. And when your resume gets to the office, there's just going to be something different about your resume that when the employer has it, he's just going to be able to feel this one, this one. We need to interview this one. Job offers, promotions will be easy, easy for you by reason of your membership here, by reason of your attendance here, by reason of bringing your solution to the problem 
ground, to the solution ground. Vle krandi andes kuruvayas. But there are things that you need to begin to take in your life. You have to be found perfect. Church attendance has to be perfect. Your tithing, which is a shadow, the Bible says that the Old Testament is a shadow. Don't miss this now. That means if the Old Testament is a shadow, that means when the light is shining, there is a physical object, right? A physical object that is casting the shadow. So if the Old Testament is a shadow, that means the New Testament is the real thing. And the New Testament revelation is that you give all. So if you're not even giving the 10%, that means you're not even in, the, you're not even part of this thing that we're talking about. Because... 10% is a shadow. So when you complete the 10%, you're just completing the shadow. The real thing, the physical thing, the truth, is more than 10%. But I'm not going to get into that. Because you see how greater the revelation just keeps getting. It, go, it grows, right? Because I haven't taught that yet. But for those of you who are quick to catch things, you might say, Wait, yeah, I remember that, and wow, you know, Vleandre Kotuski Avranayax. But it is happening for you, Ivan. Vreandre Kotruski Liamvrenescos. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding is coming to all of you because he's also requesting knowledge to be able to deal with people. So that is wisdom. It's not necessarily knowledge. Knowing how to deal with people is not knowledge. Vreandre Kotuskliaris is wisdom. Because knowledge, I andres kuluvrati andrenos kavayarekas. Knowledge is knowing what to say, and wisdom is knowing whether or not you should say it. You see, the person who has knowledge knows the answer. He knows what to say. He knows when you're wrong, and he knows when you're right. Vreandras kalayandrenes kuvutria deves kavayanes wisdom is knowing whether you should even say that what you know at all right it is not the time for that thing to be said there's a time for that that is wisdom that's the difference catch that so wisdom is coming to you all it's coming it's in fact there just say wisdom is coming knowledge is coming the money is coming. Everything is always coming. It never stops. These are confessions. When you pray, the wisdom is coming. The money is coming. The blessings are coming. They just keep coming. Knowledge is continually coming. It's coming. It's coming. Understanding is coming. Promotion is coming. Everything is coming. To each and every single one of you, by reason of your attendance, membership here to this church, it is coming and it is being done for you now. And the last prayer request, is also for her, a granddaughter. This is Nancy, right? She's moved to a new city. She's currently in a hotel Right, trying to find, and she recently, I guess, received a job, and now she wants to find a house. So we'll pray, for the spiritual guidance, and the wisdom in order to make the right decisions. So wherever it is that you are around the world, to generalize that, we're going to be joining in prayer for the wisdom, the counsel, to be able to have counsel with the Holy Ghost to make proper decisions, to have the wisdom and the guidance. That is what we are going to pray here. Vleandre Kotruskias, and for the protection of that guidance from the evil one. So that can be it wherever it is that you are. That is what we're praying for. Obviously, this is one prayer request, but we're generalizing it for each and every single one of you that are watching. Vreandas Kaliandrenes Kovutrias. For that wisdom that is coming to you. 
variantes colurinias teriaquescos, so that you may have the capacity in order to distribute that wisdom appropriately in the avenues in which they need to be spread abroad. Se andra naeres coru vraete cali andrenes cabaerecos, vai andese de vinia de casse veon, aia brandi andenes uru caia kekas, ze andrenes calabrea tenes cavai andesos. Pray, 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 pray. Keep praying wherever it is that you are. We are praying now for that wisdom which is in you to have its proper course, the guidance, the counsel in order to be able to bring it properly, align it properly into the avenues to make the proper and the correct decisions and to protect that from the evil one. From the wisdom that is continually coming. Vrian dex coluvriniates, vish caravandi and de Venus, Fraya de Velias, de Velias, de Velias Santayane Cus, Ze Asherin de Nibiare Cusavai, Zilian Dranaya Sheverine Atus de Diambanaya Recai, Velian Dranaya Skeveonus Avakian, Veria Descovolo Ratias, Velian Danavaya Resus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying wherever it is that you are. Vrian descurus qui avranayat, evera dias que levonu varia de cascias, verexangian de neos, everinias severecaios, vilianda navaya secus, vinias savaria decus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. There's also, I think, one of you, I don't know if you're here watching, I think you, you are. Um, yeah, your name, I'm not even going to pronounce it. It's T H E R E N N E T T E. I think it's something like that, right? Vrayan Drekotus, you had the sickle cell. I, I sent you a couple emails, I think, too. So check your email so we can begin to talk about that. Vrayan Drekotus, there are a couple of you. Vrayan Drekotus, Kilian Vranayas. Vrayan Das Kian Denekus that I've sent emails to, that you need to check your inbox. The ones, the one that when you give your offering, that email which you attach to that offering, you need to sign into that email and check your junk or spam or your inbox. And the best way you can do that is by clicking the search bar or the search tool in your inbox. And if you type in my email, contact at GaryRojas.com, it should automatically sift if you have if you're the type of person that has like a thousand two thousand three thousand emails and those things that are are like you don't receive them or you constantly get a lot that's the best way that you can sift through to see if you have an email from me and this is typically for like new members or new people who have been giving because i think i'm sort of caught up i might not be but I think I might even begin to put phone numbers, like to at attach a phone number there. So that way, every time, if your email, you can receive a text message from our team just giving you thanks and be able to have contact with us. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day, for this prayer session. It is done. It is taking place for each and every single one of you that are watching. So I'm going to do right now. I'm going to uh, take this. Give me one second. Right. Ziamvrini alekrutus. I'm going to take the oil and I'm going to anoint Veandris Kiliaris. Over this prayer request, it is done. In, instead of you all, Ziankratia Deskus.
we are the vixen and the end in a cuss. Right? You just now need to go out with your faith and cause it to happen and believe that it's happening. We are the Alright? So as you can see, over the name, over all your names, and it's going into the folder. Now, for those of you who are wondering, the, the oil doesn't heal, right? So when I when I'm anointing the paper just for those like am I like what am I doing? I'm anointing the paper over the names as a conduit of the anointing. It's almost as a proxy of rather than you being here and me anointing you, it's a proxy, a conduit of that anointing from your name to your prayer request. Now you need to go out into the world, into this reality, and mix your faith now with what we've prayed for if we've prayed for you. And whatever it is, we generalized it for anybody by going and saying, okay, I receive that. If you receive it for yourself, then you need to believe that you receive it for yourself by taking those proper measures measures of saying okay we prayed for this thing here right i date it you date it yourself around the world and then you give thanks every single day for what we prayed for and for what we covered that way each and every single week when we do pray for new people for healing and for all this stuff you don't need to pray for your healing anymore you are now praying for the healing that was prayed for whenever we prayed for it last week so when we say begin to pray begin to pray for them you're also praying for them but you're also praying for you but your prayer is now a thank you prayer rather than god give me my healing right so vrayan dekaye keskovanias I think you're catching it. I think that I think by that, right? So each and every single week when we have new people or whenever we pray or whenever we make generalized prayer, or whenever there isn't a prayer to pray for other people, then that's when we intercede for other people and intercede for our situations and declare and decree and do these types of things, then that's for you to receive, for you to catch. Right? And I've already shared a little bit a little bit about um, you know, that. So that's going to be it for this week's prayer session. Um, uh, we did about 37 minutes. We prayed for, you know, the members, but we've generalized that there was a lot here. I feel good. I feel great. A lot of things are taking place. I'm telling you, right? You need to receive it for yourself anywhere around the world. All right. So that's going to be it for today. That's going to be it for this week's Friday prayer session. Be sure to tune in uh, and join us this sunday invite a friend right share it on social media whatever it is that you can do to share the gospel to invite people to church right the we're more the merrier right so that's going to be it i'll see each and every single one of you guys this sunday god bless